Okay, <clears throat> gonna make a thumbnail from scratch here. So let's see. The video we're gonna do the thumbnail for is this one City against City and Kingdom against Kingdom. So there's two approaches we can have. One is to actually open the video and play it. Now I play my videos with the Media Player Classic. It's a great player. This is just me plugging this player. You can do a lot of things. F11 full screen. If I want to shrink, if I want to, that's I press one. If I want to zoom in, I press nine. If I want to reset, I press five. If I want to, let's say that I needed to, whatever reason, rotate the picture, I can hold control and move things around. Sorry, rotate is, I'm gonna click five. Rotate is alt and like one or three and you could literally rotate. I mean, you could do all kinds of stuff. You can play back fast. You can play back slow. You can go frame by frame by holding control and clicking left and right. Anyway, that's just a plug for the NPC player. It's a great player. You have all these other options over here. Brightness, contrast, use, saturation. You could do all kinds of things. Playback, looping, how many times you want to repeat everything, all different settings. It's really cool. Um, okay. So we're going to take this video, I'm going to scroll through it, I'm just going to tap through it and look for something that might be a, a good thumbnail. City against city, kingdom against kingdom. So maybe the army people is kind of cool, or the, mil the military rather. Um, da -da -da -da, skipping through, nothing's jumping out. The only thing that really jumped out were these guys like that maybe. So I'm going to make this a full screen. And I'm going to simply press print screen on my keyboard. And what that does for me is it automatically, right down here, you can see screenshot added, goes to my Dropbox screenshot. This is other ones I did. I delete that. I did the trash. And it comes, this is my screenshot. So now what I'm going to do is open Photoshop. And since the screenshot is actually 1920 by 1080, which is the same, I had this video full screen when I took the screenshot, it's actually going to fit right in as the right size. Now, so right off the bat, I have a, a thumbnail that is straight from my video, which is not a bad idea because you want your thumbnail to resemble what's on your video. So I'm going to go to the filter. This is my background. If I want to duplicate it, I'm just going to hold control and press J and it's going to duplicate it. So this background layer is locked. You can actually turn it off if you want. So if you turned off both layers, you have nothing now, but I'm just going to leave the background layer off. I'm going to leave this layer one on. Go to filter, sharpen the unsharp mask. I really like right away. It's already set in about 22, 15, 15 ish. You could see already I'm going to zoom in with control plus minus same as in premiere okay it's making a minor difference in the thicker in the thicker lines i'm gonna hit okay i'm gonna go to filter on sharp mask again actually i don't want to do that because it duplicated it control z undo if you need to do multiple undos it's control alt z keep going back or you can go to edit step backward step backward it tells you right there alt control z um i'm going to go to sharpen on sharp mask again and now it's going to bring this up I'm going to crank it and that's way too much so I'm going to bring down the radius like three ish or something two three it's still a lot turn it off turn it on but it's better plus you got to remember this might be too much a little less you got to remember people are viewing thumbnails very small so it's not going to be like they're blown up into it really that's okay I'm going to click OK. Now, let's say I want to bring more contrast down here. I have the, um, I'm going to pull in the hue and saturation, and I'm just going to bring in some saturation. It's going to pull in some colors a little bit. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to put on the curves. In the curves, I'm going to pop the brights, and then I'm going to darken the darks, make kind of like an S there. Looks a little too saturated now, kind of, because the red in the face. So if I want to go to my adjust my hue and saturation, I can come back and click on this. And look, I could desaturate it if I want, or I could 
give it just the right amount-ish there. Okay, so there we go. You take off your saturation, take off your curves, put them back on. You could already see a major difference if you wanted to see without the sharpening and everything. This is what we had originally. Slap back on your curves, saturation, and sharpening, and we have a much better looking image right off the bat. Now, I'm a, I want to put my logo here, so I don't want this logo here. So I'm going to try to come up with a quick fix for this. Um, what I'm going to do is go to the layer, and I'm going to just take, let's say I'm going to take, what can I do here? I'm going to pull this section right about here. This might look a little weird. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to press Control T. And then if I drag this out, it's like fudging it, smearing it. Hit enter. Nah, not the best. Not the best thing I could do there. But the idea behind this is I'm going to go to my logo that I do want, which is this one. And I'm going to drag it in. And I'm going to place that here anyway and hold shift and drag it out and place it like that anyway. I'm not really going to see much of what's behind it. Hit enter. But I'm even going to go on down here and put on a drop shadow. And on this drop shadow, which is right here, I'm going to bring up the size, bring up the opacity, bring up the spread a little bit. Uh, not too much, actually. Put the distance down, because that's, that's if you like where to move it, you can actually drag it, drag your shadow around. So let's say I want it like there-ish. And then I want to crank up the size a little more. And then I can blur it. Oh, way, way off. Blur it less like that. Actually kind of liked it better when it's outlining it. And I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Control T again, which is going to put a box around it. Hold Shift on the corner. I'm going to bring it right there so it covers that line. Hit Enter. Um, zoom out. And that looks pretty fine. I mean, no one's going to really look at that detail and care what's going on back there. Click back on that layer. Take the, the blur, blur tool. Just blur that a little bit. There you go. I tried to have my logo over something that isn't, uh, you know, that makes the logo stand out, which is fine. I wouldn't want to necessarily put the logo, whoops, take this tool. You don't want to put it in the bottom right because numbers get put there. The duration of the video goes in the bottom right, so you want it in one of these corners. That one's covering someone's face. That one is fine, but it just looks off-centered. Lo the picture looks unbalanced because you have this empty negative space here. You got stuff here, so you might as well use this. Place it where you where you had it, and that's good to go. So that's a good image. If uh, you wanted to do it another way, let's see if we have any other videos that need a thumbnail. I don't know why my internet's going so slow. So that's going to be this one. So actually, we'll go yeah, ahead. Holy Sorry about that. We'll scroll down and we'll see that this video, I don't think, has a... This video doesn't have a thumbnail. Logo, 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 logo. Logo, 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 logo. This one doesn't have a thumbnail. Logo, logo. This one doesn't. It just has a logo, I believe, from the video itself. But let's just say it does. This was a fun thumbnail making. Okay, let's just go ahead and open this up. I'm pressing the middle mouse to open a new tab. And the world. I'm gonna go to edit video. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put, click file save as. And I'm going to come back to my video, which was called Kingdom Against Kingdom, City Against City, Kingdom Against Kingdom. 
which is actually going to be here in my video folder. I'm going to highlight this control C and I'm going to use this. I'm not going to save it in the screenshot, so I'm going to actually save it. Let's for now I'll just save it on my desktop and I'll move it later. I'm going to click that, paste that in, that title. And then file save as JPEG JPEG and I'm going to save it and then as long as it's not bigger than two megabytes it's okay for YouTube so that one's good I'll crank it up export it out come back to my video which was this one and go to edit video and I'm going to click I get a message of monetization something's wrong here as per the usual of my videos anyway I'm going to click over here custom thumbnail it's right on the desktop city against city it looks a little dark it looks a little dark over here that thumbnail so let's come back to Photoshop and come back to our curves and let's crank up some brightness into this picture. That might be a little much, but let's crank some brightness in there. Definitely a little more visible. Um, okay, so let's go ahead, file, save, and then, oh, the problem is I don't want to affect this tack times. It made it yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the tech times above all this stuff, and that should fix it. Um, there are ways you can link. If you hold Alt, you can link your effects to a certain layer here, so it only affects that layer. But anyway, I think that's good. The curves are a little bright. Might have overblown it a little bit there that's good file save I'm gonna click file save as save it again as a JPEG replace it yes yes it'll look a bigger file size okay come back over here there it is now it's a little brighter open it up uh, this video is lacking tags but I did that so it wouldn't trigger demonetization but apparently something's going on here let's find out what's going on here I just added the thumbnail the new thumbnail SWAT teams all right let's come back to my videos see what's wrong with this monetization in the meantime this video doesn't have a thumbnail and it's called gender equality and morality rates in America okay or mortality sorry mortality rates in America it's a big difference okay so there's something here not suitable for most advertisers request review lovely anything with all these yellow marks just means they're just giving me a hard time I'm gonna click that save changes I'm gonna say yeah sure it's good enough for money I'll request a re manual review I'll confirm it just click buttons just click OK all the time what's the worst thing they're gonna do shut your channel down take you to court take all their Google money back that they're not giving me okay that's it save changes the internet's been lagging I don't know if it's just YouTube or the internet something's going on here all right so that should be saved now we're still on thumbnails so I go to Google and type gender equality images and uh, da, 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 gender inequality gender equality equality gender 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 I mean first step one is think of what what the thumbnail should be maybe like a gender equality and mortality rates maybe like a a female soldier or something hmm 
Hmm. That's cute. That's cute. Women with guns are... I mean, these are cute women with guns. All right, let's see. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that. Well, let's take a snippet of the video so we know where we're making the right thing here. The World Economic Forum published a report recently that says the United States finishes far from the top of the list when it comes to gender equality. According to the report, women fared best in Iceland, Finland, Norway, and Sweden. American women themselves in recent years, at least prestigious oh. colleges. The suicide rate was up sharp. Our leaders. Well, this one had to do with. Uh... Okay, so this one's a little intense. It shows um, women in the Middle East being stoned, whereas the women in the U.S. are being uh, praised and glamorized and glorified. So let's see. So uh, pretty celebrities. Um, gee. USA celebrity. I mean, who is it? Who is the the most famous? Taylor Swift. I mean, I don't even keep up with this stuff. Anyway, so what we can look for um, Islamic women, and how about something like that, or this, something like that. Hmm. I kind of like that. I mean, I don't like that. I, I'm, I like the statement. I like what it's saying and showing. But, um... Hmm. Okay, so let's, let's work with that. Right-click, save image as... Let me just throw this on the desktop for now. Put it in your designated spot. And we'll just save that. We'll come to our Photoshop we already have open. Take this image and drag it in. And we'll hold shift and drag it out. And drag it out. And we don't want to cut off too much of their faces. So we'll let go of shift and we'll actually warp it and drag it to fit. Right there. And right there. Click enter. What's the name of our video? Our video is gender equality and mortality rates. Well, what else? I mean, the only other thing is you, you put a um, you put a um, Islamic woman. We replace this one with, um, you know, like Taylor Swift or something like that. Or what's the girl in this video? Who's this girl? There was a girl in the video. Where's the video? I'm losing myself here. This girl. Who is this girl? They may not know it. These rights afforded the same respect as men. But sadly, I can say that there is no one country in the world where all women can experience. I consider, but I am one of the lucky ones. Right, so what do you got, all these girls? My life is a sheer privilege because my parents didn't love me less because I was born a daughter. My school did not limit me. 
because I, I was a girl. Is that her, Jennifer Lawrence? My mentors didn't assume Is that, the girl talking? that I would go less far because I might give birth to a child one day. These influences were the gender equality ambassador. Hmm. Is that Jennifer Lawrence? Oh, let's see. How do we get a, we need a girl in like a fancy car on a red carpet. Red carpet. That's not going to work. Okay. Oh, there we go. I don't like the backgrounds. Get something with a plain background anywhere. Is that Jennifer Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence. Is that the girl speaking? I don't even know. You guys can correct me. I think that might be her. It might not be. They all look the same to me. Hmm. Yeah, something like this. Something like, oh, it's a low quality. It's a low size. All right, so view more. Um, I spelled her name wrong. Can we find some bigger ones? be so provocative. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's try that. Click save image as. We'll save it. And we'll see how this works in this image. Put her here. Stretch her out. I was afraid the arm was going to be in the way. But let's see what we could do. Rotate her a little bit. Stretch her out big. Alright, so let's say we were to, this woman's face comes to about here-ish, so if we put her back it comes to about here. So yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Her arm is too outstretched to have her arm, so what we could do is control T, drag her out nice and big and pretty right there Click enter uh, let's make this bigger for you come over here I'm gonna take this box put it right about there actually you know what let's highlight let's take this off draw our box so right there put this back on and since we're on this layer anything we do is going to affect that layer not necessarily this layer even though we're just using this layer to find the where the the line should be drawn and we're going to take this layer and click this mask tool it's going to mask out only that section um, I see a little edge right here that shouldn't be there oh, just to be on the safe side control T and drag it out just a little bigger and a little bigger here right there hit enter and then we could could actually let's take let's go on this um, layer here and take our paintbrush paintbrush size can be adjusted up here the, the hardness of it and then white is going to draw back 
what we took away. Control Z undo. Black is going to take away what's there. Control Z to undo. So let's just say I wanted to put a quick, actually, Control Z undo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, I'm going to draw a box right here. I'm going to make my, I'm going to make my, paintbrush tool nice and big big huge big and right here is where I'm going to blur that and then I'm going to take my box and move it over right about actually I should have just control Z sorry didn't not sure what I just did there. Step backward. Step backward. Step backward. Okay, so I blurred that. I'm going to go back to my this uh, tool here, the arrow. Drag this over a little bit. Oh, it's very interesting. This is oh, I'm moving the wrong. I'm actually, moving my mask. That's very interesting. Okay, so let's put it back. And let's just take our white and our paintbrush and kind of like fade in half of it, maybe. Let's see if we blended it. Nah, it looks a little weird. Okay, control Z, control Z. Um, we can just smudge it if we want and blend it in. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. I need to be on this I believe. No. Sorry, I was on the right thing. I was not on the right thing. It's not letting me do it because these images are not ras rasterized. So right click on it. Sorry, right click on right about there or right about hmm. Hmm, having an issue. Here it is. Rasterize layer. Over here. Should be able to do the same thing. Rasterize layer. Okay, there we go. Now I'll be able to um, blur. Should be able to blur. strange why that's not working either. I guess it's because I have the, this is taken away with a mask. So let's try this. Let's, let's disable this layer mask. Come over here and just delete. Whoops, I'm on the, I was on the layer mask. I shouldn't have been on that. It should be on this, this. Actually, you know what? We're going to do this a, a different way. Forget all that. We're going to put this woman in front of her. And then we're just going to go like this. We're just going to control T, drag her out a little bit. And then we're going to come over here and take our, take this tool. It's a lasso. And just gonna outline around her head like this. Okay, actually we'll outline right around there too. Connect it back. Now we'll put the mass tool. And then we'll take this and feather it like that. And see if we could bring her over more. Yeah, get more of her head in there. There we go. Then if we want to take her, we could just delete layer mask. Then we could take her if we want to bring more out from her background. We can feather some background in there like that. But we don't want too much of that because we just... 
our feather tool is a little intense there, so we can bring down everything. Oh, made it too small now. We can fill back in these areas. That's close enough. I think that's close enough for what we're trying to do. It doesn't have to be crazy. The idea behind this is to make something pretty quick, and we've already taken a little too long on it. All right, so next I'm going to take these curves I had on previously, and I'm just going to throw them right here in front. That's way too much. Click on them. Pull this back down to the corner, and it'll pull this right to the corner, and it'll make you lose it'll get rid of those dots so let's pump a little contrast bring it down a little bit now if we want what we can do is this we can take these curves hold alt it'll link it to only this channel and i'm going to take these curves and i'm going to hold alt again i'm going to drag it down here and i put a new curves i'm going to hold alt and link it to this channel which is her channel so we can individually we have her curves for her, so you'll see if I were to change and make her really dark, it's not affecting the picture on the right, only the left, be really bright. So we could bring down a little bit, the brights up a little bit, take that off and see the difference. Okay, so we brought a little more color into her, and this other curves is made for this other, the woman on the right. And so if we were to darken her, you see it's not affecting the other. So let's brighten her up a little bit. And we're going to come... Can I rasterize because the picture of layers is directly editable? I don't know what that means. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to give her the unsharp mask. Give this one the unsharp mask. Also going to do another unsharp mask where I'm going to make the lines thicker and probably less to give a little more definition. This is only affecting this picture here. Might be a little much. Off, on, okay, good. Come back to this picture. Now I'll use the same settings. Darken her a little bit. I think we're pretty good. Let's take the um, the, the hue and saturation and we'll bring it up above everything put a little more color in actually we see if we want to change that once again we can hold alt and link it to <clears throat> only this top photo hold alt again drag it down and now we have one linked to only this photo so if we adjust this one and we pull in saturation oh wrong one take out a little saturation and lighten her or change the hue a little bit to, to red, a little lighter there. Now we'll come back to this hue and saturation and we'll put in more, put more color in this face. And it's bringing out the fake bruises that they painted on her. And I know they're fake because if you take away, sorry, if you pull back in the original photo here, you can see that if this is the same woman, which it is, you don't really see the purple under her eye there. Maybe it's there, but I don't really see it. Because right here, it's very dark. Over here, it's not. So I think this is totally photoshopped or something. But anyway, just observation. Okay, so aside from this, I mean, the color put a little much of the purple in her and stuff so if we want to actually change her contra her uh, skin color we don't really want it to go there but we don't put this back to zero can lighten her darken her here saturate even more or less I think right there is about good. I think that's pretty good. I mean, what, what more do you want from it? We already have our attack times. The attack times already has its drop shadow and everything around it. I mean, at this point, 
I mean, we could even move this tack times over here, but I think it just looks better up here. Maybe just shrink it a little bit because I don't like it being that close to her. I control T, hold shift, shrink it down a little bit. It's fine. Um, if we want to put like a, could put a, um, a layer, add another layer, put it under the tack times. Come up to, let's see, what do we have here? Um, come over to the paint bucket, and there's a gradient tool, and you can kind of like put a little black shadow, and then I guess we're going to have to change this to not overlay lighten no maybe I'm on the wrong one this gradient tool should be more of a transparent gradient tool so we can uh, delete that put a new one and just put the gradient the transparent gradient tool I think that's a little too much And it's a little too much but just a little bit you know helped maybe just just a little bit like that just kind of like drawing it in there if you were to take it out if you were to take all these things off that's all you really have there so you can put her back you see the difference without it and with it without with and then this one you can put back and that's fine I don't like that it darkened her eye a little bit but I don't want to go too crazy with it let's see where to take it off and put a new one there and then let's take her away and take her away and just put very little bit. I just keep draw. I'm just clicking and actually drawing in. I'm clicking and dragging and drawing in. So let's say we put her back. I just don't want to pass her eye. So, oh, that's going a little too much. Control Z. G Force gets in the way of the control. Oh, the the uh, Control Alt Z because settings for G Force. All right, but there we go. We're good put her back in uh, control actually we want to take this pretty girl here control T and maybe even drag her just a little bigger I almost want her hair going in front rotate her more maybe That should work, I suppose. So I'm going to go file save as our video is gender equality and mortality rates in America. It should be called something else. Gender equality and mortality rates correlation did I spell that right did not spell that right two R's not two O's gender equality and mortality rates correlation okay so let's come back to let's uh, come back here we will save this oops sorry wrong thing this whole thing Save it. File. Save as. JPG. Save. 1.4 megabytes is fine. There's our new thumbnail. Custom thumbnail. It's right here. Boom. This one, we have our thumbnail. Save. 
and there you have it two thumbnails in let's see how long that took that took a while 40 minutes all right I don't think there's anything I have I don't need to drag this out any longer than I already have um, that's the idea you got a, a lot of tips and work in here with curve saturation linking uh, clips cutting things out fading them uh, masks gradient logos so that's plenty for now um, I think that's it I don't think there's anything else I'm gonna go over here so let's come back to our monetization request manual review sure submit it for review so let's come back over to our back to our videos, our main channel. We have our end screen annotations on, I believe, for this. Check our videos on the front. Yep, these are on. Check our videos on the front, and we have uploads. We have this one, City Against City and Kingdom Against Kingdom, and then we have also this one that we added. Where is it? Where is it? Where it, it didn't change yet. It didn't change yet. So uh, I'm going to come back over to my quality ambassadors that made me who I am today. They may not know. I'm going to check here just to make sure it's there. Go to my videos, type gender. I'm going to change this title. Okay, I'm going to take my this, this, and this, and this. I do want to keep Control X, and I'm going to save them in my images folder with all my other thumbnails. Control V to paste it. It's going to cut it from here and paste it in here. These are just images I don't need anymore. Those are my source images. This thumbnail is there, it's just not showing up yet over here, so if I refresh, it should be right here, but I don't know if it's going to show up yet. No, it's not showing up yet. So I can come to Creator Studio. It'll show up. The internet's just going slow. We're good. We're good to go. There, it's showing up there. It's just not showing up yet as the main image. Everything's going very slow right now. Um... view all. See how everything's just going very slow. So load up. Close that. I don't know what's going on with the internet here. Like it's has not been going this slow. Um, there it is. The image is showing up. So I don't know that it's showing up on the main page just yet. But it will, and that's that's our conclusion. So we're done. Have a nice day.